Hey there. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, another day of Vlogtober, and I'm actually in the kitchen right now. I'm going to clean up a little bit. We had a little bit of a later breakfast, um, and Nelson is actually on his way back. Earlier today, he went to go pick up the paint to um, paint the exterior of our house. So we were trying to find a location that had all 40 gallons of paint that we needed for the exterior. And we finally uh, found one location and he just went there right away. He placed the order and headed out quickly. And so now he's almost home. He's about, I don't know, maybe half an hour away. And right now I'm just getting the kids ready in the meantime. That way, once he gets here, we can head out because today we are going to Fall Creek Falls, which is actually not very far from where we live. It's a really beautiful state park and they're having a festival right now for fall. So um, one of my daughters actually got to go on a field trip and see it this week, but um, we haven't seen it yet and it's her first time and we hear it's a lot of fun. So we're just gonna go take a little drive with the kids and check it out today. I'm currently walking to the laundry shed. <laughs> I have a load in there that I was trying to get washed and dried before we headed out. So the wind is blowing today, which is kind of nice. The weather is just beautiful. Of course, <laughs> we had a box up front that the wind blew. So we have to get that in a second. The house is back there, as you can see. The cottage is actually not that far from the house. Um, we have to move all that wood over to the house area back there for our wood stove, but Nelson will take care of that whenever he gets a chance. But yeah, that's kind of the distance between the little cottage and the house. And I'm in the laundry shed. <laughs> this has been how I have done laundry for the past year. Um, it's okay. It gets really hot in here in the summertime. And it gets a little bit chilly in here in the wintertime. There's like a little wall heater that Nelson installed that kind of kicks on on its own. So it's not so bad in the wintertime. But it certainly beats going to the laundromat. That was one thing I did not enjoy. Um, and these will go to the um, house once the house is finished. These are actually brand new. We bought them last year to put in the shed. So um, at least they're here and they're protected from the elements. So that's good. We'll just have to give them a really good wash before we put them in there. And so, yeah, this is where I do laundry. Caramel apple jelly, citrus pan loaf butter, 
zucchini relish. Banana Nice. Lori's here. Smell good. <laughs> oh, they didn't want to taste well. What is your most fragrant? <laughs> is that what that is? Let's see. It's like a little PVC pipe. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a second. It's a spoon. Oh, mommy, look. Mommy, look at the elf's wearing. So it's actually the day after the festival. We got back home last night and we were so tired. I heated up leftovers and then we just kind of took showers and went to bed. <laughs> and honestly, um, filming this vlog a couple weeks before Vlogtober, just because I wanted to make sure I got this little experience for Vlogtober for you all. And it happened to be sooner than when I actually start filming for Vlogtober. So I'm not sure where exactly this is going to go in the sequence, but you'll see it um, as one of my Vlogtober videos. And it kind of 
like takes me a day or two to get into the whole routine of starting out in the morning and finishing out in the evening. And so, yeah, I just forgot about signing out last night, but I did want to come on here and share with you all a few of the things that I bought at the fall festival. There was a lot of handmade stuff, a lot of crafts, a lot of, they had knives, they had, um, like pot holders and aprons. They had knitted stuff. They had, you know, homemade brooms as you guys already saw. And so some of the stuff that I like to buy in these areas and just to kind of try out is more consumable stuff. So here is what we picked up. And you're probably going to hear my son mowing the lawn outside. So if you hear that, that's what that is. <laughs> so one of the things I saw was naturally um, sassy. They had this vanilla pumpkin handmade lotion and they had samples and it was so sweet smelling. My daughter and I absolutely love this. Some of this stuff was a little bit, you know, more expensive. Obviously handmade stuff is and, you know, things are just more expensive nowadays. This one I believe was $7 for this and it's actually very thick and very rich. So I thought this was something nice that me and the girls might enjoy. This one right here, there was a little stand selling honey. Actually, there were several stands selling, you know, honey, raw honey. And then this one just happened to be an oops honey jar. And we asked the guy what it was. And he was like, well, he was trying to come up with the recipe for spreadable honey. Um, and so this was one of his tries that it kind of didn't come out perfect. And so as you can see, a lot of it's mostly honey. And then here's some of the spreadable honey that he was trying to um, create. And these were only like $5. So we were like, oh yeah, we'll take this one. And we did try the spreadable honey and it was actually really, really good. But we just ended up, you know, coming home with this one and it is cinnamon flavored. So that was a pretty good deal we thought for five bucks. And then let's see, we got these. I think these were maybe 12 bucks a piece. These were a little bit more expensive, but these were like um, homemade um, barbecue sauces and they had samples of both of these. This is more of an original and this one's more, uh, you know, a little bit spicy, but sweet mango habanero sauce. And we both thought these were great. So we were like, okay, well, we'll try these. That way we can have it next time we barbecue some chicken. And so, yeah, Nelson liked this one and I just decided we should go ahead and, you know, have a original one as well. This one back here, they were giving out samples in this other little um, booth and they had muscadine, they had peach, and then they had blackberry cider. And I've never had blackberry cider before. And this one was actually very good. It tasted like wine, only it's not alcoholic, obviously, because it is cider and it has, you know, everything in it. You know, nothing was um, removed from like the process is what he was saying. So um, this was actually very tasty. The kids loved it too. And I thought, okay, we can have, you know, a bottle of this and save it for, you know, a special occasion. And the last thing I wanted to try this one, I believe, was 18 bucks, and I think this one was 15 I don't know if I already said that, but this one was $18, and I wanted to try this. And basically, you know, this is like a homemade, um, what, uh, wellness tincture, I guess you can call it. And this is Wildfire, and I had read about this, and I wanted to try it because obviously the weather's changing here. Things are going to get cold. People are going to start getting sick, and this just has a ton of... Um, you know, um, herbs and vitamins and just immune boosting properties. So I thought I would try it in here. Hold on. Where is the, the ingredients are in here. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar, raw honey, orange, lemon, and elderberries, as well as ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom. And everything was organic. And I wanted to try one of these so that when, you know, I hear, um, people getting sick at school or we start getting a sniffle here or there wanted to make sure I had this on hand so these are what I picked up and you know I'm excited to try some of this stuff and this is just so sweet smelling it's perfect right because it's got pumpkin sm uh, smell in it but um yeah 
So I thought I'd share what I got at the fair. So I think now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clear off the kitchen and start baking some muffins for the kids breakfast. Hopefully I can get a few different batches in so that I can have them frozen and the kids can, you know, grab whatever they need in the morning and warm them up before they go to school. There's been a lot of, you know, school activities and just getting up and, you know, going different places and the kids need like pretty much breakfast on the go some days. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and, um, yeah, get that started right now. So I'm out here at the front porch. Um, I was cleaning the dishes and as I cleaned one of my knives, I accidentally cut myself. You hear that noise in the background. That's one of my dogs chewing on a bone. They're very loud. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I had to stop washing dishes and I had to take a break, put some bandages on, and I'm kind of waiting for it to kind of just stop stinging a little bit so I can get back to it. Can't wash the dishes right now because I don't have a pair of gloves so that this doesn't get wet. Um, but yeah, I'm making dinner and I'm making like a, like a taco soup, almost like a Mexican chili. Um, since it's nice and it's just breezy and it's getting cooler out here and it's the time you know for like stews and soups and chilies and all that stuff so i might be getting ahead of myself but because it's still really nice you don't need a jacket out here just yet you can just feel the change of weather and uh yeah so i'm just gonna enjoy a nice bowl of like mexican you know chili soup and uh get the kids ready for school tomorrow because tomorrow is another day of school. So that is it for today's vlog. Thank you guys for following along and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Until then, adios.